dreams, where are they? Can I go there? Like if a dream I had could somehow be converted to a physical place to not just be there in spirit, but your real physical body made of flesh and bones, what would a place like this look like? Your own dream palace, if you will. And why would such a place probably be the scariest thing you've ever seen? First off, how our dreams are constructed with amalgamations of memories, of course. Random aspects of your life are thrown together into a mix of weirdness and nonsense. I was playing Excitebots the other day, and sure enough, after I went goodnight, my brain tried to fool me into thinking there was another cup after the Crystal Cup. Anyway, obscure Wii games aside, one thing is very obvious. Dreams are never completely accurate in their strange fan fictions. We just can't notice the small inconsistencies because we forget most of a dream when we wake up. So, who's to say the places and people who inhabit this dream world are accurate depictions? You may claim you saw someone you know in your dreams, but did you really? That person you saw might look like this, and you didn't even realize it because the dream became so blurry in your mind after waking up. So, next time you dream, be glad you're not getting the full picture because dreams probably look like really bad AI generations. In fact, both are made by observing data and using that knowledge to make something newish. Pretty scary, huh? Your dreams are made the same way an AI makes Minecraft Obama. Perhaps sometime in the future, there will be technology that allows us to record and rewatch dreams. They'd probably resemble Mandela Catalog with all the creepy faces in them, but I'm certain they'd look like AI-generated videos, a lot of nonsensical noise with vague ideas of things. As an example, I'm going to take an AI-generated image from my book, Elemental Enforcers. Here is a dream play place. I used the weirdness of crayon to my advantage and ended up with this kind of creepy effect. As you can see, what the fuck are those? Yeah, the AI tried to make cartoon animals, but something tells me it checked the wrong planet for reference. Nothing here really makes sense. But if you have been to one of these, there's a good chance this is what it looks like in your memories. I did have an example with an AI-generated human face, but I don't want to traumatize all 26 of you. What's the next best thing? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes, anime. Who doesn't like anime waifus? Probably people who have actual wives. Anyway, look at this anime girl. She looks excited. Dare I say, cute, right? I wouldn't mind conveniently, accidentally tripping by her, if you know what I mean. Anyway, this is her in your brain after you go a few years without thinking about her. Here. Poor girl, she's trying to give you a high three. Oh, hey, look at this young lady. I wonder what she'll look like in my memories after I forget about her for five years. Oh, wow. You poor thing. Wow, such beauty. I'll never forget such a... Wait, who was that chick with the long blue hair again? Oh yeah, she's cursed now. So yeah, enough with the anime girls. I think you get the general idea of my little theory. Images in your mind decay over time and with age. Gradually, gaps are filled in by your imagination in places where the memory decay occurs. Luckily, to some extent, we can choose which memories to keep. Cherished memories can last all the way up to your final days on Earth. For me, it would be seeing Steve's Smash Bros. reveal trailer for the first time. But for someone who's not a wall fungus like me, it might be something normal, like a wedding day or your first kiss. Two things I will never experience with a woman with more than two dimensions. Anyway, I'm going to go touch grass. I've heard it's really cool. Goodbye, nerds.